Hi, Jim Hotelling back again with Youssef and we're at the Intelsia headquarters here in Casablanca, Morocco. Youssef, there's a new context of business out there today. Uh, the world's getting faster and smaller. Uh, some will argue this is the fourth industrial revolution. Having all of those wrapped around as a scenario, I believe there's probably new leadership competencies that are required to lead in today's environment. Uh, if you agree with that, or you don't, that's fine too, but if you agree, what do you think are some of the competencies for future leaders to be thinking about today? Well, I, I'm not sure that the, the competencies do not apply also to the current uh, situation, but mm -hmm. uh, I think they will apply much more in, uh, in the, the revolution you're talking about. I think that leaders of today need to be very open, much more open than they, they were in the future. They need to be multicultural because the companies are almost instantly uh, playing on worldwide yeah. uh, boundaries. They, they need to be agile and they need to adapt to a lot of situations that are happening and even to situations that they cannot see today because the technology, the constraints that are brought by digitalization, etc., is completely changing the games every day. Right. Every day. So you have to have leaders who, who, who don't have any uh, firm beliefs about anything. They should be able to change and challenge themselves every time and keep moving and inspiring and uh, leading the, the way to, uh, with, the, with their teams and with their uh, companies. But the main, the main message is to be open and to be adaptable to all the changes that are happening, which will be the norm for the next uh, years to come. You bet. Transver transparency and agility. And uh, I love that you um, said it could be in the future, but it needs to be today too. Yeah, I think that yeah. these qualities are already present uh, with most uh, of the leaders, but they need to be much more present in the leaders of the future because, I mean, everything is changing and the rate of change is accelerating. You bet. Yusuf, thanks for your perspective. You're welcome. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.